Hey, hello, how are you? Amanda, same artist. I'm gonna do my eyes. <laughs> I do that on every one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep with Versailles and I'm gonna set it with Cupcake. There is a little in there. <laughs> I use this makeup till it's gone. All right, and I'm going to be using these colors. I've got Cafe, Oak, Riviera, and then I've got Drift. Drift is my favorite. It is my favorite. It should be in everyone's palette. All right, so first things first, I'm going to prep. If you have this makeup, love this makeup, want to know what to add, want to know what to put in your stocking, whatever, get the blend brush. I love this brush. It's good for your under eyes. It's good for prepping your lips. So I'm going to go into Versailles with the small end, and from lash to brow, I'm going to put this all over. And look at how pretty that is. It's so light and it's so bright. I'm pushing over here also. And I'm also gonna use this as a pop color at the end. But you see how pretty this is? It has pink undertones, which just make it a really pretty bright. And so from lash to brow, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna push into that cupcake eyeshadow. I'm gonna put some on and I am gonna go over my lid and into the crease just to absorb that moisture and set this so it doesn't crease. So good. More Cupcake. Cupcake is also another one. If you have a darker skin tone, Pup is another good one. So for somebody who's lighter like me, Cupcake's great. For somebody with a darker skin tone, say you're Sandy or, or you're warmer than Sandy and you're Papaya, if you're, well, maybe not Papaya. If you're in the mids, Amber, Sandy, maybe even Mango, Pup is another really good one. Okay, so I've prepped my lids. I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna clean it on my cleaning tile. And the first color I'm gonna go into first and second is gonna be Drift. And I like doing Drift because I don't wanna compromise my transition color. I'm gonna put that right up here on my brow bone. I just, if you highlight right under your brow, it gives it some lift. So I'm gonna go right here and then I'll pull it down. Like that. All right, the next color I'm going into is Cafe. I'm gonna pop this on top, just like this, and I am going to open my eyes, and I am going to come right up here above my crease on my brow bone. And I'm not going into my crease. I'm just gonna go across, windshield wipering. Look at how pretty this brown is. It's such a good color. Tap, 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 and then again, over here. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and I'm staying outside of my lid. I'm staying above the crease, outside the lid. I'm gonna go on the edge here, and I'm gonna come right underneath, right down here, and I'm just gonna bring that down. And it's okay, because we're gonna be, remember how I said I was gonna do a pop color? That's what's gonna tidy all this up. So I'm just coming under the lash line there, and then up, just like that. Okay, so next I'm gonna switch to the small end. I'm gonna go into oak, and I'm just stamping that in tap some off, I am going to come right here. And I'm just above the crease. I'm not in the crease, I'm above the crease. Because when I open my eyes and I rest, you see how all this skin almost touches my lashes, I will lose all that color. So I'm putting that oak there and then I'm gonna pull it down right on the outer part of the lash line. Just like that. Going into oak and I'm gonna come right over here and the same thing above the crease and it's a light touch. I'm going over and then I'm gonna pull it down on this outside part. Boop. It's just a good everyday look. I'm gonna flip it and then I'm just gonna blend it. Just like that. Okay, next I'm gonna go into Riviera. I'm gonna push it onto the fluffy end this one can get a little flecky. It's very pretty. If you feel like your brush doesn't quite get enough, use your finger. We'll see what happens here. I'm gonna go right on the outside of the lid. How does that look? Oh, that's going on real nice. It's not a high shimmer, so it's not gonna look glittery. It's gonna be a shimmer and it's light flex. So that's what makes it not look glittery. And again, I'm just putting this on the outside of the lid. I can't wink on this side, so it's a lot easier right here. So outside of the lid, outside of the lid, just like that. Okay, next I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to go into drift, putting that on, and I'm going to go on the inside of the lid, inside of the lid. Yep. 
pretty. And then whatever's left, I'll just push into that inner corner, just like that. Okay, let's take the fluffy end of the blend brush and I'm just gonna dust any excess off right down here, taking all that off. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my liner. I use Maybelline Tattoo Studio, nothing fancy, and I'm gonna waterline. And I only go about three quarters of the way over because I don't like water lining this inner corner, otherwise it transfers and it gets a little messy. But I do hit the edge of the lid like that. So I'm gonna water line the top. Get that inner edge. I'm going to water line the bottom about a quarter of the way over. And then I'm gonna push onto my lash line on my lower lid. So water line, and then I'm pushing onto the lash line. I'm gonna to switch to, the sh to my eyeshader brush, not a saint brush. There's links all over. I need to just give it its own and I'll save it to the top of the group. And I'm just gonna use this brush to blend, just like that. And I'm just smoking out that line so it's not a harsh lower lash. Oh, my husband's home. All right. And I'm going to put a little bit on the top lash line because I need to. Okay, I'm gonna take that shader brush again and I'm going to smoke it and push it into that lash line and pull it out. Pull it out. Okay, now mascara, and then we'll do the pop. Color. I'm just wiggling at the root and pulling. Wiggle, wiggle, pull. I'm going as quickly as I can. So, wiggling at the root and pulling. Just like that. And it's just this really pretty simple color. Okay, so if you ever get mascara on your face, sit and let it dry. Just let it sit there, let it dry. Ignore, ignore, ignore. I'm gonna do my pop color over here while that dries and I'm gonna show you how I clean that up. Okay, so I'm gonna take my blend brush, I'm going into Versailles, very little amount, and I'm gonna pop that right here and right here. And I'm just gonna blend it and it just adds, I'm not bringing them together, I'm leaving them where they are, I'm just blending them out. Look at that, that's the difference. Okay, so when you do this, go find yourself a spoolie and you let it dry and then you just chip it off. And that's it. That's how easy it is. You don't have to compromise your makeup. So I'm taking that Versailles and I'm going into that inner corner. Oh, and then on this outer corner. And then I'm just gonna blend it around. It cleans up anything that fell. And I'm blending this. It's just pretty. Take the fluffy end. I'm just gonna give everything a blend. I wanna tidy up my contour. I'm going to show you how I do that because it's just kind of driving me a little nuts. So I'm going to use the detail brush. I'm going into Versailles and I'm going onto the edge and I am going to do that. And then I'm going to blend it down. It just gives it this really pretty, look at that, isn't that pretty? So again, just do, 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 swoosh it, swoosh and then blend it down. It's so pretty. That's it. Probably sort of swoosh back here more. And that's it, okay. That's the eye look. It's just a really nice, simple color, but that Riviera really like knocks it up a notch. Okay, that's it. Have a good day.